pretty scared. Well, good afternoon, Ann Arbor. Welcome to WCBN's presentation of Michigan Women's Softball. I am Luke Bealy, joined alongside by Jaden Fode. Jaden, happy to have you here today. It's a beautiful, cloudy, overcast day in Ann Arbor. How are we feeling? Feeling great, getting excited for this matchup against the Chippewas versus the Wolverines. This is their 12th meeting. Michigan's actually won every game that they've played against them so far, last one coming in 2022. So I think Michigan's expected to win this one today, but it'll be interesting to see how these two match up. That's right, and that is the Chippewas. Chippewas, Chippewas, Chippewas Jaden. Chippewas. Southern California girl that you are. We had a little struggle with that pregame, but I think we're beginning to ha hammer it down here. The Chippewas. The Chippewas. The Chippewas. The Chippewas. What, are you, what do you call them for short? The Chips. There you go, the Chips. But looks like we're about to segue into the national anthem. We're starting lineups right here, and then we'll have a little bit of softball this afternoon. I should have brought a jacket here. It's a little chilly. There's a little bit of I a think breeze coming through the window. Fine. You're in shorts and a t-shirt. The jeans are helping. Sure. Well, excuse me. It'll be fine. Can't complain. It's at least it's not cold and snowy and raining. That's right. Could be worse. Not a, not too bad of a turnout either for a, a 6 p.m. game and on a what on a Wednesday, Wednesday here in Ann Arbor with the men's baseball team playing. Currently, we can see them playing right yeah. now. Pretty sure they're losing to Milwaukee right now. And Mil that's right. And Milwaukee's not anything fantastic this oh, year. Pretty sure Michigan's losing, though, I think. I got that. Yeah, so if Milwaukee's not that fantastic. Right. Okay. Anyway, we don't care about baseball right now. We're here for the softball game. That we are as they finish Michigan's lineup up. Doing a little shimmy shake. Introducing these players. Oh, look at these intros. Don't you love these intros? Fantastic. Ella McVay. I have class with Ella McVay. Oh, chucking out brags early on in this broadcast. And Ellie Sealer. Are you, are you personal friends with these people, Jaden? Never spoken a word to them. Okay. Well, here comes the anthem, so we're going to have to respect the country. And stand. It's a great nation, isn't it? Fantastic. Oh, nothing quite like that, Michigan. Segue into some softball here after the greatest nation in the, co in, 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 in the entire world. Yep. Tops us off with that anthem. But we will have the Michigan Wolverines in the field first and on the in the circle for the Wolverines is Aaron Hain tonight. 3-2-8 ERA, 12-4 on the year. Good on, for the, good on for the Wolverines, that is. And Chippewas, 7-23 on the year. Looking to take down this top arm and Aaron Hain. Yeah, Aaron Hain actually came in the game last night against 
Michigan State Spartans. She came in with the bases loaded, managed the situation pretty well, um, only got out of the inning with only giving up one run, and she was actually credited with the win last night, so it's a quick turnaround for her here to be starting today, but expect a good performance out of her. Enjoy a quick turnaround it is. Making the road trip from East Lansing back to Ann Arbor, less than 24 hours. And if she gets this arm loose, we will have softball momentarily. You think you could hit that? Absolutely not. Absolutely <coughs> not, says Jaden. Do you think you could? <laughs> I do. Okay. I do. Okay. But I'd swing and a miss a couple times. I've Either way, we've softball got softball. Before, so. No? Nope. It's I refused right. to when I was younger, but. You just swing a bat. Yeah, it was never my thing. It's an easy game. Either way, we've got softball here. Abby told me, first up to bat for the Chips. Got that, Jaden? Chippewas. Chips. She's going to take pitch one just a little bit up high for ball one. Clarkston, Michigan. It's close to home. You wouldn't know about that, Jaden. You're not from I here, wouldn't. but I don't really know the it's close. Michigan. It's probably about 40 minutes just north. Okay. 1-0. Gonna be taken up high again. Ball two, 2-0 two count. Who told me? Staying nice and nice and patient in that batter's box. As this Chippewa dugout riddling off some rhymes and some I guess so. Some jingles. Excited to be here today. But she'll take pitch three for ball three. Out of this count, three and oh. As Hain looks to stay in it. He's going to find the zone with this 3 0. -oh. Count three one. Keep yourself alive. I guess so. Abby's only a freshman on this team, and she's actually leading the team in their batting average. It's impressive to see. That's right, the three one. A little bit low is going to be fouled off. Full count all of a sudden. Abby's older sister is actually also on the team. Runs in the family. Guess so. Up there in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. One play together. The 3 2. Swing a infield pop up. It's going to be handled by the Michigan shortstop, Ella McVeigh, for out one. Pretty routine play for the Wolverines. Pretty routine is right. We will have Central Michigan's second batter in Michaela Valamont from Trenton, Michigan. One out. It's going to be swinging at the first pitch for strike one, 0 1 count. Got another little family relationship here. Her sister, her younger sister, is actually catcher for the Wolverines today. There you really go. Really Valamont, so we'll see some of that later. Family affairs all the way around. Going to ground this one back to the pitcher. And Haynes going to toss this one over to first. Easily handled for out two. Two up, two down. In this first inning for the Wolverines. And here's Carly Sleeman for the Chips. Up to bat. The Chips. The Chips. <laughs> you like that name? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about these dugout chants, though. They're really active. I know. Great, sp great sportsmanship and... Haynes going to find the strike zone with his first pitch. Oh, one count. Excited to be here today. You sure sound it. <laughs> A lot of enthusiasm coming out of you. Okay. Here's the 0-1. It's going to be rip foul. For strike two. 0-2 oh, two count as Hayne gets ahead of Sleeman, the freshman from Zeeland, Michigan. I'm not sure where Zeeland is, but. I have zero idea. I couldn't even begin to try to tell you. It's another Michigan girl, either way. The 0-2. Gonna get her looking. Haynes gonna get out of this inning. Three up, three down. Ends with the strikeout as Sleeman is sat down for the chips, and Wolverines will get a chance to bat here in the bottom of the first inning. That was a super quick inning for the Wolverines. A couple routine plays and a nice strikeout to end the inning. Definitely a good way to start things off, especially after they had a game yesterday. I think it's good to get their feet under them and come out strong. Try to keep that momentum going. Michigan beating Michigan State yesterday. I think the story of the game was Kiki Thole. Definitely. Three home runs yesterday. 
Really big game for her. That's right. And this Michigan team looking to capitalize on the game of hers and keep this positive momentum rolling into tonight. And a team that is not so great on the year in the Chippewas, but it's a key. It's a team in a game not to be overlooked. And either way, the Wolverines have a chance to bat as Central Michigan pitcher Madeline Wallace will take the mound or step into the circle. That is. Yes. Five two five ERA, two and six on the year, with seventeen appearances. Madeline Wallace has been a pretty good pitcher for them. She actually threw a complete game in their series over the weekend. Gave up zero walks, nine hits, four runs. Not a bad performance. Not a bad performance. It's a little. I'm not talking, Jaden. Are you a? Are you? Do you know directions? Hmm. I can't tell where this wind is blowing. I, I don't want to try. Think I think. I don't. I don't know. I Maybe the weather app knows. We can check on that later. <laughs> I think it's blowing <laughs> south, but I'm kind of catching a little bit of this breeze. I don't even know what direction we're looking in. Either way, we're going to start it off with another southeast. Michigan native. Seven southeast. Miles per hour. Okay, cool. Southeast. Ellie Sealer is going to step in first <laughs> with the Wolverines here against Madeline Wallace. Going to take first pitch inside for ball one. Another Michigan native. We're four for four on these Michigan girls I guess to start so. this game. Great representation. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. The You're another Michigan out. native. I know I am. He's going to take this pitch just outside. Ball two, 2-0 two -oh count right off the bat. And Alex Miller does not believe that I can hit a softball. Did he say that? He said that. I mean, maybe you have to see it one day. That's right. Maybe next time we can play softball instead of basketball. I love that. I'll prove them wrong, too. Okay. I'm sure. The 2-0 is going to be in the dirt. Four ball three. Sealer staying nice and patient, waiting for her pitch as she gets ahead at this count, 3-0. L.A. Sealer was also one of the batters yesterday for the Wolverines that hit a home run. It's nice to see her back out there on the top of the order, try to get things going early here today. That's right. The 3-0 is going to be upstairs, and Sealer's going to have herself a bag. Staying nice and patient, 4-0 count, and that'll be a walk. Base runner on first for the Wolverines. As Indy Langford comes up <coughs> for the Wolverines. Probably not the way the Chips wanted to start it off today's uh, game with a walk. Definitely not, and we have another California native. Oh, really? There you go. Poway. Don't know where that is. You don't know where Poway is. I believe it's in the not. San Diego area. You know California better than I do. You do. And this is a slap hitter for Michigan Wolverines. Is the lefty Langford. She charges up for this pitch and takes it for ball one just upstairs. And we'll have a mound visit or a circle visit, circle that visit. is. Excuse me. Right. I know. Terminology can be a bit confusing, but. It's okay. As long as you correct it. We're going to slow good. this Everyone one down. Everyone makes mistakes. That's right. Madeline Wallace is going to regroup after throwing five straight balls. Got to find that arm a little Not bit. Not ideal start. Not ideal. But it's only second battery of the game. Got some time. That's right. The 1 0 to Langford. He's going to take this one for ball two. Michigan batter staying nice and patient thus far through six pitches. All six balls. Got another circle visit. Yeah. This will be an official visit. as Wallace looks to settle down and really find a rhythm here. Yeah, definitely. It can be tough against this Michigan team, especially them coming off such a good offensive game yesterday. I think they're probably riding that coming into today, hoping to do the same thing. Jane, what's your favorite ballpark food? It's a during really during good the question. anthem, I was, I was kind of leaning over this little, what do you call it, little stanchion. I saw a couple pretzels, a couple dogs in play. Yeah. I don't know. I used to, when I went to Dodger Stadium, I used to get Dodger dogs. Uh, what's a Dodger dog? Just a hot dog, but Dodger Stadium calls them Dodger dogs. Seems a little bit um, um, It's just self-centered by those L.A. people, huh? Okay, like uh, every stadium has their own, like, No, Comerica Park, food. hot dogs. Okay. Anyways, I've moved it's on to chicken Detroit tenders. It's a humble Detroit being. I've moved on to chicken tenders and fries. What do you mean you've moved on to chicken I've tenders and fries? I don't get Dodger dogs anymore, and now I get chicken tenders and fries. We're moving up in the world from yeah, we are. a Dodger dog to yeah. a chicken tender fry meal. What do you dip in your chicken Ranch. tenders? Okay. That's, the only op that's the only correct answer. I'm a blue cheese guy. Okay. Yeah. 
Is that all right with you? Keep that to yourself. Either way, Langford's going to be back in the <laughs> box here as this timeout's going to be ended. And Langford's going to take this next pitch outside, ball three. Ball is starting out slow. Yeah, definitely. Seven balls in a row is not what we want to see here. The 3 0. Going to find the zone for her first strike thus far. 3 1 count. Momentum that Wallace needs to really establish herself. And keep finding this zone here. Definitely. Loads up, fires. Bunt's going to be laid down by Langford. Play at first base is not going to wow. be in time. That'll be a bunt single off the bat of Indy Langford as Madeline Wallace cannot handle that one in time. Great bunt laid down. Yep, both runners are safe. Runners on first and second. First and no second. No outs. No outs. Maddie Erickson at bat, too. A long way from home, she is from Oregon. Oregon. Never been to Oregon, have you? I actually have. My best friend goes to University of Oregon, so I went and visited her last summer. And? Um, it's, okay. it's pretty. It's pretty. Okay. Well, there wasn't much to do, don't but. Don't sound so sure of that, but either way. Lakes are nice. You're in Michigan, too. Lakes are nice here. I've actually, this might be controversial. Shame I've on never you. been to know any lake here. Okay, well, we need to fix that. Either way, Maddie I Erickson know. takes pitch one for ball. She'll also take pitch two right up the gut for strike. One, one count. Base runners on first and second for the Wolverines. No outs. This is a really good situation for Maddie Erickson. She's one of been one of Michigan's most consistent batters, so this is definitely a situation where you want her at bat. That's right. Third baseman is going to rip this one in the right field. It up into the gap, and this one will score at least one run as Langford turns third looking for home, and she'll find it. This will be an RBI two-run double by Maddie Erickson. Wolverines up 2 nothing. start this game. Right on time. When she swings, she definitely delivers. She's been that consistent piece of Michigan's offense amidst some inconsistencies with their batting, but... Maddie Erickson's been nothing but consistent, and she That's proved right. that right again. Really pieced up that ball up into the right center gap, and both base runners turn third, find home, and here's last night's MVP in Kiki Thole. Three homers last night. She's got a runner in scoring position here, no outs. Let's see if she can do it again. Yeah, another ideal situation for the Wolverines. It's going to take first pitch off the gut. Four strike one. Kiki Thole, Illinois, five foot ten, is the senior catcher. Bonnie Thole's niece too, head coach. That's right. The 1-0. It's going to be upstairs for ball two. Still having trouble finding the zone here. Yeah, that's right. Definitely needs to settle down here if they want a chance in this game. That's right. Wallace down 2-0 in this count. It's going to load up and fire as. Thole rips this one out in the right field. It'll be easily handled. But the Michigan base runner will tag up and get caught in a pickle. Ooh. And will be caught out. Double play. That's right. Double play. With the tricky ball up in the right field as Michigan base runner Maddie Erickson kind of gets caught up in between second and third. and Not a great piece of base running, but either way. Definitely not. Two outs here. It's probably worst case scenario for Michigan on that play with Kiki Thole at bat, but looks to be some discussion about that yeah, play. Umps are meeting up about whether this tag was really down in time. Regardless, we'll have Lily Valamont up to bat next for the Wolverines. After these umpires finish their discussion, It looked to me like she was definitely out. Sure, I thought so too. So, yeah, yeah. and they will There's confirm a, it with an yep. out. I didn't really think it was that close, but. No. Might as well, guess might it as well hurt. chat it over. Yeah, no. It doesn't hurt. Lily Valamano for the Wolverines once again. Two outs, bottom of the first inning here. As Valamont looks to keep the Wolverines alive, another Michigan native, Trenton, Michigan. This is a bit more close, just downriver. It's going to take pitch one. Don't even know what downriver means. Uh, you ever heard of the Detroit River? I guess, yeah. Okay, and you got north and south, 
What does down imply? So south. There you go. Down river okay. she is. That's right. With her sister, too, who's on the chips, That's like right. I said earlier. With her sister, and she'll take pitch two for a strike. This one will find the zone. One, one count. Two outs here. Down river. Guess so. The more you know. I'll teach you a little geography up here. Michigan geography, because I know absolutely nothing. It's right. It's like right here. Okay. Got me? Yeah. Okay, this ball's going to be ripped <laughs> into right field. Into the gap once again. And this will be a bag for Valamont. Is a single in the right center field. Michigan's got a base runner with one out. Two outs. They got caught for the double with the double play last. You're right. Two outs. Last that bat. I knew that, too. It's all good. Janisa Conway. Now up for the Wolverines. Left-handed hitter. With Valamont on first. Wallace looks at her little play sheet. <laughs> Chuck's pitch one in for a strike. Definitely finding the zone a little more now. Yeah. It's gotten settled down a little bit, but. Can you tell me where Olivehurst, California is? I cannot. Jaden, man, I'm you're sorry. killing me. These are like some niche cities. You. Oh, one upstairs for ball one. One, one count. It's in Yuba County. Oh, I know where that is. Really? No, I have no idea. We're going to look at it. Are you familiar? I'm not. Oh, that's northern. More northern. It's past San Francisco. I'm okay. not familiar with that area. Okay. Well, either way, 1-1 one, is going to be outside for ball two, 2-1 two, count. Southern California girl. That's yeah. what you are. Yep, and she's a northern California girl. That's right. We gotta find someone to split split the difference or something. Someone in the middle. Maybe Indiana Langford is. Is she? I don't know where Pawnway is. Poway. Poway. Man. It's in the San Diego area, I just told you. you Conway's sure? gonna fall away the two one. Over near the bouncy castle for those kids. Nice little souvenir. Two two count here. Two outs. Base runner on first here for the Wolverines. I just fact check you and it is in San Diego. I didn't believe you. I think I'm lying. I just didn't think you knew. 2-2 two is going to be in the dirt. 3-2 count here for Conway. Wolverine batter staying nice and patient thus far. She's definitely been one of Michigan's consistent hitters, especially as a freshman. Yeah, batting 248 on the year. Not bad freshman numbers. 3-2 pitch is going to be in the dirt. This is another free bag for the Wolverines. Base runners on first and second for Ella Stevenson. Two outs here for the Wolverines. Despite that base running on the double play, they've had a very successful inning. Algonac, Michigan. You familiar? We have a lot of Michigan girls today. I know. We're going to find a city that you know as well. This is going to help happen. me with my geography, learning about new places. I know. The five foot nine freshman out of Algonac. Base runners on first and second. She's going to take pitch one inside, but it'll be called for a strike. Oh, one count. Wallace still kind of battling to start this game for the chips. Yeah. The 0 1. In there for ball one. 1 1 count. Ella actually just won Big Ten Freshman of the Week honor mm -hmm. with a 429 batting average over that stretch. 429 batting average. She's going to take this next pitch just a bit high for ball two. Batting 218 on the year is Stevenson. They've got some pretty good freshmen this year. That's right. This is a fairly young Michigan team as the latter half of this lineup is primarily freshmen. This next pitch is going to be low again. 3-1 count. Nice and patient are these Michigan batters so far. Yeah, definitely. It seems to be working in their favor, especially with a couple walks already in the first inning. That's right. See if the Wolverines can stay disciplined here. As the 3-1 for Stevenson will be on the way. Going to follow this one off back into the screen. 3-2 count. Wallace looking to get out of this inning for the chips. Uh, Michigan threatens to score here. 
There's a mysterious gust coming from somewhere. I might have to start shutting windows out here, no. but I'm getting chilly. I think it's nice. Yeah. The 3 2 for Stevenson. It's going to be in the dirt for ball four. Base we got bases loaded, loaded all of a sudden for the Wolverines yep. here. As Ava Costellis comes up to bat for the Wolverines. Bases loaded, two outs. We got another Michigan girl at bat from St. Clair Shores. Okay. Do you know where that is? I do know where that is. It's right here. Okay. I have no idea. It's like partially in the thumb, on the right side of the thumb. Okay. It's probably. How far from here? Okay. Let me. Yeah, yeah. Here, pull up, pull up the GPS. Let me see if I can get it right. We're pulling up the map. Yep. Give me. I'm going to guess an Kay. hour. Uh, an hour and a half is my guess from Ann Arbor. I hope everyone listening is enjoying this geography lesson. I know. We're really, we're really learning a lot today. But we have a... It's a little north of Detroit. Uh, it's a lot of north of Detroit. Okay. That doesn't look that far. Oh, well, no, it's not. Never mind. I know where Gross Point is, and it's past Gross Point. Okay. Either way, it looks like we're going to have a pitching change for the Chippewas here. Super early in the Super game. Super early. To be getting into... New pitchers, but Mackenzie Langan is going to come in for the chips as Wallace's day ends early. Two runs allowed, leaves three Michigan base runners on with two outs here. I'm honestly a little surprised that they're switching this early. No, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't. It's I don't know. Wallace struggling early. Hopefully, yeah. Langan can find some success and get the chips out of this inning. I guess they don't want to leave her in there and risk a grand slam because that would break things open in the first. It's the last thing they want. That's but right. You need a little momentum change if you are the chips. Yeah, for at sure. This point. Hopefully she can get a clean last out for them. That's right. Just Ideal situation, but. Yeah, it's a lot on your plate right here if definitely. you're coming in. A lot of pressure. Three base runners to deal with. Castales for the Wolverines, the freshman batting 324. Yeah, Mackenzie Lang in the six foot Wisconsin. They don't they don't do them like the Midwest, you know, build them anymore. No. Something different in that Midwest I water. I guess so. <laughs> or Culver's maybe. From Wisconsin. She's from Wisconsin. You know anything about Wisconsin? I don't. I've okay. never been. Have I figured you? as much. Yeah, I've been to okay. Wisconsin. Well. Castellis. St. Clair Shores, you said. Yep. She's got one of the higher batting averages on this team, so. That she does, the freshman. Definitely a good player to have at bat in this situation. That's right. Langan's going to go to work. First pitch swinging and missing for Castellis. 0-1 count early. As Langan looks to get chips out of this inning. With less damage than anticipated. It's off to a good start with first pitch strike, but. The 0 1. It's going to be just a bit upstairs for ball one. Michigan batters, again, staying disciplined thus far and being rewarded yeah. with bases and runs. Well, let's see if Castales can keep the Wolverines alive here in this latter half of the first inning. Going to take the 1 1 for a strike. 1 2 count here. One pitch away from getting out of this. One pitch away from getting out of this that is the case here for Castellis. And Mackenzie Langan, the new pitcher, he's going to find her first strike out of this game and get the Chippewas out of this inning. Wolverines leave three stranded, but score two in the bottom of the first here. And Chippewas will have a chance to go on offense here as Michigan – Pressure's early, and Chips avoid a big scare there. That's exactly what they needed. Definitely could have blew this game open in the first, and that's definitely not something they want. But nonetheless, they got out of it, so good for them. Get on your feet any time a Michigan pitcher records a strikeout oh. as foam softballs will be tossed into the loudest fans in the stands. Do you think we could get a foam softball up here? I mean, if you want to be the loudest <laughs> fan in the stadium, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I know you got a little bit of passion behind you. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to scream for all these people? Yeah. Okay. Look, you hear these, the tenacity of these little kids down there right now. Can't imagine how, how loud and jumping it's going to get when these 
Michigan pitchers find a they little strikeout. Give it to the kids. Well, you're a student. You pay tuition. You're right about that. Out of state of tuition, that is. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Blue Sky, what do you know about this song? I know this song. Yeah, you do. Looks like the baseball game's over. Baseball game is over. I wonder what the final was. Why don't you check up on that? Let's check. Skyler Coberly for the Chippewas will lead off here. Bay City, Michigan. That's a long way. Bay City. Is it? It is a long way. Okay. But the senior second baseman is going to take first pitch swinging and fall back into the screen. One strike. Is Aaron Hain with a good first inning for the Wolverines. Looks to continue that momentum into the second here. Definitely. Oh. What? Pitch two in there Hold for on. a ball. What? What? Michigan won. Three to one. Okay. Well, that's a three-win W for nice. the Michigan baseball team. Hopefully, we can get that same result here on this side. Hopefully. One one's going to be way upstairs for ball two. As the senior from Bay City, Michigan, and Coverly looking to get the Chippewa's first hit here. He's going to take this pitch outside, 3 1 count. Remember, she gets a strikeout. I need you yelling. I don't know about How about you get up and start oh, yelling? I'm not doing that. Okay. You think they're going to know I'm a kid? 3 1's going to find the zone and keep Haynes. Battle alive here. 3 2 count full for Coverly. The 3 2. Oh. Swinging a fly ball up in the right field. This one will be called off and handled by the center fielder. Nice Kenisa routine. Lisa Conway. Out routine out that is. Nice fly ball. Kind of killed by the wind, but nonetheless, one out for the Wolverines here. Yep. And we have another Michigan native. Wow. Another. I'm trying to build an all-Michigan lineup here is Grace Koenig. I guess that's what you get when two teams from Michigan play each other. Jaden, your energy feeds me out here. Okay. It really does. I'm glad. Hain ahead of the count here. 0-2. Koenig. One out here for the Wolverines in the top of the first inning. Left-handed hitter, Koenig. He's going to take this pitch swinging. And that's a Michigan strikeout right there. I need to Head hear these kids. Feet, I need yelling. to hear these kids. Let's see. You too. Okay, you can, hear them, you can hear a little bit, but. They don't look like kids. Well. Don't they have school today? The kids are all playing on the bouncy slide. Oh, either way, that's a Michigan strikeout. <laughs> South Lion, Michigan native, Alyssa. Um, Holo is going to swing this first pitch. And a, a, a playful grab by the a young man in behind home play. What is that? What? Is that a young man? I can't tell because there's a little bit of a glare in my way. Either way, it was a great catch. 1 0 or 0 1 count for Holo here. He's going to check swing. It will appeal to first, and she did not go. 1 1 count here. South Lion, that's about. Uh, what, 15 minutes from where I live? Literally everyone is from Michigan. I'll tell you, there's a good Mexican restaurant, too. Really? In South, in South Lyon, Lyon. Called Cancun. Oh, nice. I promoted them last broadcast uh, on the Michigan State one. <laughs> Promoting them again. So I need How did I need some coupons, need some, need some NIL okay. deals out here. Okay. 2-1 count here for Holo. Next pitch up high. So I'm going to take this one for a ball. 3-1 count. Two outs here in the top of the first for, or top of the second for the Wolverines. Looking for a nice clean inning, three up, three down. A three one on the way, just outside Not quite. for the first bag. Not clean inning for the Chippewas. Jaden, I didn't want to say anything, but you don't say that. Jinx the ladies I'm out sorry. there. I'm sorry, they'll be okay. Emma Lotus. New Lenox, Illinois native, freshman left fielder for the Chippewas. Looks to keep them alive here. 
in the top of the second with one base runner on first, two outs. He's going to be swinging at the first pitch up the gap. That will get through for a single. Runners on first and second for the Chippewas. First hit of the game. First hit of the game. First hit allowed by Aaron Hain. Yep. And the Chippewas have something brewing here as Maddie Springer, the shortstop, the junior shortstop, that is, comes to play for the Chippewas. Two base runners, but they also have two outs. They do also have so. two outs. Wolverines caught in a similar situation last inning. Bases loaded, two outs. We're unable to capitalize, and hopefully the Wolverines can do the same here. Matty Springer, junior shortstop, is going to be into the plate, the right-handed hitter out of Howell, Michigan. Hey. Do you know where that is? I do know where that is. I played a lot of hockey in Howell. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice little city. She's going to take pitch one inside for a strike. Oh, one count here. Dugout chants are brewing for the Chippewas here. I need to learn some of these. Yeah, they're really excited today. I know. i got to learn some of these. Going to take the 0-1. Gotta in there for a strike, 0-2 count. Got to keep this team motivated. Got to keep the team motivated. Bring the energy up. Bring that energy up. 0-2 coming for Springer. It's going to be swung on and missed. That is another strikeout for Aaron Hain. As the Wolverines get out of this inning unharmed with no damage as they lead, heading into the bottom half of this frame and get a chance for the bats to heat up once again here. Yep. Oh, look at the size of this glove. Giant glove catch Slingshot. out in right field. Oh. <laughs> Slingshot glove catch. Look out. I think you need to back up, little girl. She's going to get a softball right in the face. Don't she's say that. No, she's, she's 15 feet away. Well, maybe the slingshot's not that good. See, look how bad that was. So easy. She's one for one. She's. This might be a future maybe. Wolverine softball yeah, player. I oh, think she's so. got a. Oh. It's okay. I didn't like the footwork out of that got, one, though. She's got time to practice. Yeah, but I need to see more agility on those look at, feet. Look at that. That was two for three. <laughs> two for three. Let's <laughs> catch the fourth one. Three for four. That's a C, though. That's a C grade. That's a C grade. But if you think about it in terms of batting average, like imagine going three for four. That's a great game. Yeah, but she's fielding. She goes three for four. You're not making any rosters. She's like, what, nine years old? I don't know. Leave her alone. I need to see those feet get active out in right field. She's doing great. There's a lot she's on the, the right line. path. Just wait. Oh, like Lady Gaga. Ten years, she's going to be on this field. I haven't heard this song in forever. You like Lady Gaga? Yeah, I actually heard this song recently. <laughs> Wolverine Bats up here again is Ella McVay leading off the junior in the nine spot for the Wolverines. Looking to lead the Wolverines off in the right direction is Des Moines, Iowa. Nice. You ever heard of that place? I've heard of it. Have you? Where is it? In Iowa. Okay. <laughs> Pitch one in for a ball. A 1-0 count here for McVay. Gonna call time. Wait for herself to regroup. It's going to show bunt here to start as McVay. He's going to pull it back, take next pitch for a ball upstairs. 2-0 count. Lots of balls today by the Chips. Yeah, Chippewa pitcher is not really able to find rhythm here early no. on. Going to see if Wolverine batters can take advantage as McVay shows bunt again. Going to pull it back. Decide not to swing. 3-0 count here as this pitch is upstairs once again. McVay in command here. 3-0 count. Really having a lot of trouble finding the zone today for these pitchers. That they are. Mackenzie Langan on the circle is going to chuck this one in and find the zone. 3-1 count. Keep the battle alive and McVay staying very patient up there. Looking to get that OBP up, some personal stats up here. Mm-hmm. The 3-1. 
in there for another strike. Full count, 3-2. Oh, She's got herself back in it. Got herself back in it. Three-two count for McVay. He's going to swing and ground this one over to first. Routine play by Chippewa first baseman. Lucy Cronin and one out to start the bottom of the second inning for the Wolverines. Bats. We have the top of the lineup for them. Already back. Yeah, top of the lineup for the Wolverines here is Ellie Sealer. Made quick work of that lineup. That's right. Walked her first at bat as the junior left fielder. 366 average. It's really impressive. That is impressive indeed. She will take pitch one swinging up into center field. This ball's back and will clip a piece of the track, and this one will be two bags for Ellie Sealer. First pitch swinging. Gets a piece of the fence. Gets rewarded with a nice double. You know, one of the reasons she likes being at the top of Michigan's lineup is so she can be aggressive, and you saw that exactly right there, swinging on. First pitch and get a double. That's right, runner in scoring position here already for the Wolverines. One out. Indy Langford up to bat is the left-handed hitter for the Wolverines. The sophomore second baseman. He's going to take pitch one for a nice little strike, a one count. Should have brought a jacket. You're sitting right in front of the window. I should have brought a jacket. Yeah, well. Pitch two in there for a ball, 1-1 one, one count. It's only 63. It's pretty warm. But the sun's not out. Yeah, and it's breezy. The winds are like seven miles per hour. Remember? <sighs> I do remember. <laughs> and Langford's going to take this next pitch for a strike. One, two count here. Base runner on second for the Wolverines. One out. Looking to capitalize with the runners in scoring position. Indy Langford batting. 3 0 1 on the year. He's going to swing and wave and miss at this one. As that is a strikeout for Central Michigan pitcher Mackenzie Langan. Two outs here for the Wolverine offense. Maddie Erickson now for the Wolverines looks to keep this little rally alive. Jaden, some chicken tenders are walking past really? us. You see him? I see. Nice little man brought it to his either sister or girlfriend. <laughs> you can never assume out Maybe here. Maybe friend. Or a friend. Either way, it's a great platter. Probably cost him about $15. Yeah, probably. Wish I could have some right now. That's not no Dodger dog. I'll tell you that, though. No, it's not. Pitch one's going to be upstairs for Erickson. Ball one. Pitch two, just a little bit outside. Erickson staying patient, 2-0 count here. Two outs, runner on second. Erickson with a 365 average, already one for one today. That's good. Yep. 28 RBIs on the year, eight homers. Consistency. That's right. That's exactly what they need. Erickson's going to take this next pitch upstairs once again, 3-0 count, staying nice and patient, waiting for her pitch. Notice that a lot today. The Michigan batters are really staying patient in all these counts. Yeah. It's definitely been working out in their favor. Already getting some hits and walks today. That it has. Lang gets a new ball, kind of resets herself. 3 0 on the way to Erickson. So I'm going to foul ball up into crowd territory. Never mind, it didn't even get over the fence, no. but it won't be handled by Central Michigan catcher. And that bat stays alive, 3-1 count. That was a lucky play there. Yes, it was. Carly Sleeman not able to read that one coming off the fence. I told you there's a little gust coming, what was it, southwest, right. southeast? Southeast. Just enough. Seven miles per hour. You said it wasn't <laughs> enough. I mean. Erickson's going to follow up this next pitch into oh. the parking lot. Lucky I didn't park over there I this guess, time. Yep. And I actually found a new dent on my car. Really? I think it might have been from the baseball game. Are you serious? It was an absolute rookie parking job. That's awful. But you should know better by now. 
Oh, I know about it right now because okay, I learned my well. lesson. Well, full count here for Erickson. 3-2, two, two outs. Going to swing this one into center field. Easily handled by Central Michigan left fielder Emma Lotus. And the Chippewas are out of this inning unscathed. And we will head to the third here. Looks like the Wolverines are going to get something going with Ellie Sealer's double, but not able to make anything come across there. That's right. Amounted to nothing, essentially. It was a great, yeah. great hit. Hit the wall with a little, I'd say, 14-mile-per-hour wind to the southwest. That ball would have been gone, but either way, it's a good piece of hitting by her, and Wolverine's not able to capitalize on that one. Still up 2-0 here in the third inning. Guess the wind isn't on their side right now. That's just the way it is, Some, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Some things will never change. You don't know that song, do you? Some things never change. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know that song. My bad. Oh, group outing, Waterford. What? Oh, what's going on here? South Lion Stealth Tenue team in attendance tonight. I believe they are in right field. Who is? South Lion Stealth Tenue girls team, I assume. Yeah, yeah, you see those girls out in right field with the matching. Oh, I do. There's some at the top. There's some at the bottom. There you go. Nice field trip. Yeah, you know. How far south line again? Okay, from about from here, from my house, it's about eh, 20 minutes. So I'd say from okay. here, mm, half an hour. Okay. It's not bad. It's just a little bit north yeah. of here. Nice little quaint city. They got some signs up. I can't read that. Here I am, sign sealed delivered. What? You know that song? No. Man. Sorry. Stevie Wonder, man. I'm sorry. Lucy Cronin's going to take pitch one for strike one, leading off for the Chippewas here. Aaron Haynes staying in for the Wolverines. He's going to deal, and this one will be just high. Ball one, one, one count here. Top of the third inning. Uh, I guess they're showing the South Lion girls because, because Lucy Cronin is a South Lion native. She is. I wonder if she played on this team. I don't know. It's a good guess, though, isn't I bet it? we could find out. Look it up. I will. Don't worry. 2-1 count here. She takes this next pitch high. Chippewa still fired up in their own dugout. Got to love this tenacity. Going to stay disciplined here with this next, next pitch. 3-1 count. No outs. Hmm. Beverly Bandits. Yeah, that was her travel team. That's not the. Uh, what was this team again? I can't the remember. Something. I don't even remember. Something their name. Bobcats or something? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe they're the Bandits. 3 1 Who count. Knows? Inside there for a strike. 3 2 loaded up for Lucy Cronin, the senior first baseman. Looking to get an early bag here in the inning for the Chips. Fire them up. The Chips. The Chips. Swing and a oh. miss. It's another strikeout for Hain right there as Cronin has sat down. You got to get up and start cheering. Remember? <laughs> Michigan strikeout so you can get a foam softball. Oh, you see. He's, yeah, I see them. Oh, first. see? We could totally get one. I think we should make that our as mission. As an elderly gentleman ends up with that ball. The lady over there is throwing them while she's on crutches, so that's not ideal. <laughs> but Pitch one there for a strike is Abby Tolmy, freshman center fielder. I need you to get on your feet next strikeout. We'll see. Not a lot of passion out of you today. I told you I have a headache. Yeah. But you that's did. not stopping. And me. I offered you a banana. And so, like I don't know what you want me to say. Well, trying to find some medication out here for you. One one count, one out here not in the already. top of the third. As that ball is outside. Ball two. They're really active with their chance today. I got, I'm telling you, I got to learn them. I got to pick I up know. on these. Going to check the swing for a strike, 2-2 two -two count here. They're loud enough for us to learn them. That's your homework for us now. Okay. You got to learn these chants. 2-2 okay. two -two count here. Told me steps back in the batter's box and Hayne delivers for strike three once again. Swing and a miss by Tolmy. It's another strikeout for the Wolverines. Jaden, get on your feet. I can't. She just. You love the game too well, much. The guy's helping her throw now. You love the game too much, Jaden, don't you? So much. 
Michaeli Bellamont. Senior right fielder over one on the day. Right hand hitters in the box now for the Chippewas. Hain misses the zone with the first pitch. 1 0 count. Not a lot of play time on the year. She waves and misses at the second pitch. 1 1 count. Man, I gotta learn these. I'm telling you. They've got a different one like every at bat. I know. I don't know how they do it. Next pitch is outside. 2 1 count. Two outs here in the top of the third. Erin Hain is having herself a day thus far. The 2 1. Wave and a miss by Valamont. 2 2 all of a sudden. The 2 2 from Hain. Swinging a foul ball up into the screen, almost headed our way. <laughs> Jaden, I need you diving in front of okay. me, too, if we I, got a ball got coming our way. I'm not getting hit. Okay. You're right in front of that wide-open window, so. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's your job, though. Okay. The 2-2 two -two from Hain. Upstairs, 3-2 count. You have a headache today? I'm cold, so no one's perfect, right? No, can never be perfect, if only. If only. Wave and a miss. Valamont goes down on strikes here. Courtesy of Hain. That's three strikeouts for the inning. I was going to say, it's a. On Hain. Looking terrific thus far for the Wolverines. That's right. It's fantastic. Can't ask for more. No, well, she's looking fantastic today. Only one hit allowed. Yeah. Through three, in, through three innings of pitching, that is. And Wolverine bats another chance to come up and do some damage here as they threaten to score last inning. But. Amounted to nothing. The first inning was like 30 minutes long, and then we've been cruising these along. These last two were like 20 minutes. Yeah. I know. Weekend you? series. Oh, there you go. Friday, Saturday, Sunday against the Iowa Hawkeyes, and what was the event that they have in Park it, pu pup in the park. Bark in the park. Bark in the park. Of course, they got bark in the park. Bark in the park on Saturday. What a great event! Did the Dodgers do that? No. Uh, we, mm, the players have a bring your dog. It doesn't the count. Day. Wait, maybe they do have a bring your dog day. Not allowed to have fun in L.A. America does it. It's tons of fun in L.A. I don't know. Do you know what festival at the fields is? Sunday, April 14th at 1 p.m. Uh, I have no idea. I don't either. Let's find out. Bark at the Park is Saturday, April 13th at 2 p.m. Bring the pups. That sounds fantastic. It does, doesn't it? I would love to come to Bark in the Park. But you have to bring a dog. You're not going to show up and just pet you dogs out here. I think that's perfectly fine. Okay. I don't see an issue with that. All right. I'm having dog withdrawals. A little bit of Whitney Houston walk-up sound or uh, walk-up song for Kiki Thole. You like Whitney Houston? Can't say I really know much, but. Jaden. I'm really sorry. You don't know much about Whitney Houston? I know. <sighs> Ask me about Taylor Swift. I don't oh. Tell you, but other than that. I don't got much. Thole's going to sky this first pitch up into the air. is going to be handled by the central shortstop, Maddie Springer. One pitch, one out. Yep. Definitely a positive start to the inning for the chips. That's right. And Lily Valamont, the sister of the other Valamont yep. on central, is going to be up, yep. for bat, up to bat now for the Wolverines. Talented family. Definitely. He's going to take pitch one in for a strike. Yeah. See if we got any famous people in attendance. Jaden, keep your eyes peeled today. Now, who do you think would be here that's famous? I don't know. You never know out here. Pitch two. I guess. Just upstairs for ball one. One, one count here. You never know who's here. That's all I'm saying. I guess you're right. Hopefully we can find someone interesting today. 1-1 one, one to Valamont on the way. He's going to swing and rip this one into left field. Directly to the left fielder, Emma Lotus. 
Two up, two down for the Wolverines. Mackenzie Langan's work, making quick work of this inning. She is Janisa Conway looking to keep the Wolverines alive here. Bottom of this third inning. Lefty steps into the batter's box. Swinging fouls off pitch one Looks over like the stands. Back to the parking into lot. the parking lot. Keep that head on a swivel. 0 1, 0 1 count. Oh. I'm feeling the what breeze because this back window is open. That's Maybe where the breeze is coming from. We can shut the back window. That's where it's coming from. I just needed a source. I would have assumed it's from the wide open window you're sitting in front of. But uh, you know what they say about assuming is this 0 <laughs> 1 count is going to be ripped up foul, handled by the first baseman, Lucy Cronin. Three up, three down for the Wolverines, and we will move on to the fourth. No damage, no threat by the Wolverines here in the bottom of the third, and still 2 0 game. Yeah, it's quick inning for the Wolverines at bat. It's looking like they're. They got pretty lucky to get those two runs early in the first and have been kind of quiet since then. Oh, professors, deans, and faculty members all standing. Let's see if I see any of my professors out here today. I wonder. Let's, let's take a look. I got no one. I don't even see anyone. I got no honestly, one. So yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really think my professors would come. <laughs> but hopefully they're grading my exam that I still haven't gotten my grade back for. And what te what class is that for? Oceanography. Yes. How did you how did you feel about it? Definitely. You can, yeah, yeah. Be honest with us. I think this one was better than the second one. <laughs> and how this so, how the second one go? Um, what I get on the second one? I don't know. I got a B. I don't remember what percent. Oh, but I'm, I'm I'm ecstatic with a B though. How could you not be? Well, I got an A on the first one, so it was kind of... Yeah, you know. It was a little upsetting, but it's okay. Oceanography is hard to study. What's your major? Communications. So it's what the, are you it's doing? It's the LSA Natural Science credits. <laughs> Did you not have to take those? I'm a transfer student, by the way, Jaden, okay? Yep, for sure. So I took some type of... Okay. I don't know, actually... Maybe I have to do that. I might need to look at my... Yeah, uh, I think you should look at your... <laughs> I might need to look at that. You should. Carly Sleeman now... Freshman catcher for the well, what's the mascot, Jaden? The Chippewas. The Chippewas. I'm glad you learned something new today. Obviously. Take pitch one for a strike. 0 1 count. Two homers, 18 RBIs. 273 on the year. Not bad for a freshman. No, definitely not bad. The freshmen on both these teams have been good. Yeah. They've been good. Second pitch just outside. 1 1 count. What do you think about the little bow that the girls do on the back of there? Their hair under the I helmet. love the bow. Do you? I'm a huge fan of the bows. What color would your bow be? Probably pink. Yeah. You strike me as one of those it's pink. My favorite color. Yes, it is. 1-1 one, one count. As next pitch is buried in the dirt. 2-1 for Sleeman. There's the cheers. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. Oh. This ball's ripped over to second base. Backhanded and handled. Routine, almost. Actually, I'm not sure if it was a routine that play. That was a little hard hit. Yeah, but. For Indiana Langford, but. Indy Langford backhands that ball, chucks it over to first. Four and out. Great defensive skills over there. Definitely. I didn't know hat was optional for the girls out there, too. Oh. Would you wear a hat or not? I don't know no? if I realized that. If it was sunny, I think. But today, I don't think I would wear, wear one. Okay, well, Cobra Lee takes. Pitch one for strike one. Still only one hit thus far for the Chippewas. Yeah, Aaron Hain has been doing a fantastic job in the circle today, making quick work of the Chips lineup. Yes, she has. 0 one's going to be in for another strike. 0-2 count here. One out. Top of the fourth. I know I mentioned earlier Aaron pitched yesterday against Michigan State, so yeah, quick she doesn't turnaround. look tired at all. No. Looks fantastic. That's right. 0-2, fouled up into the first baseman's hands is Lily Valamont. Easy routine play. Two up, two down. Nice and easy for Michigan in this inning. Nice and easy. So far. Not so, going yeah, yeah, Sorry, here we last go. time I said that. Yep, here we go. They got a hit, Incoming double for Grace. Come on. <laughs> Koenig here. She steps into the batter's box. Can't jinx anything. My bad. <laughs> the left-hander will take pitch one four. A strike. Oh one count. 
I feel the wind now. It's getting a little cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was only seven miles per hour, though. It was. It was. But the sun goes down as Haynes' pitch goes up for ball two, or ball one, that is. One one count here. Two outs. Koenig batting 2-2-2 two, two, two on the year. Angel numbers. That's a good sign. Make a wish. <laughs> Angel number batting average is going to rip this one down the third base line. And glove nice by and easy. Maddie Erickson. Three up, three down. Jaden, you didn't jinx anything. No, I didn't. This time I didn't, thankfully. We will head to the bottom of the fourth. This game's been going by quick now. Yeah, we're only an hour into this. Yep. About halfway done. If you do the math, are you a math girl? I prefer to not be. Oh, here we go. Dizzy bat dash oh to right God, what field. Is this? Are they going to like spin them around? Oh, it's the little South Lion girls soccer or the girls softball team. <laughs> spin you round and round. This looks great. Let's see how they do. Okay, pick a girl. I'll pick the other one then. Who's doing better? I'll pick the one on the left. Okay, I got right. Okay. Come on, right. Come on, left. Number 17. I can't even tell what number this girl is. Number 10? Her hair is too long. Yeah. Oh, she's got more RPMs on those spins, she's though. She's got it. Oh, oh my girl finishes first. No, oh, she wait. messed up. My girl's finishing oh, first. Look cheated. at her go. My girl cheated. <laughs> Look at her. Look how fast oh, she is. Oh. I win. Makes a mad dash to the Not even close. foul line. My, my girl gets dusted because she <laughs> cheated. <laughs> and uh, well, That's funny. Lucky there's no real-life wager on this. You can have the banana that I would, oh. was thinking about eating if you want. So kind. But I broke it trying to open it. <coughs> it's all banged up and bruised. Unfortunately. I think they'll have to get us down there for the dizzy bat dash next time. Who's winning that? Me, definitely. <laughs> you don't even believe that. There's no way. I got more heart. I think I'd get too dizzy and, like, pass out. <laughs> I don't like spinning. Uh, Not with this headache. Here we go with this headache I'm, once again. It really hurts. Mm. Probably doesn't help that I haven't eaten in six hours. but Yeah, no, not, not good at all. But Ella Stevenson up the bat here for the Wolverines. Pitch one in there for strike one. This window is going to come down no. just a little bit because I am cold. Stevenson batting 2-1-8 on the year, 2-18. Oh, one count here. Going to take pitch two, fouled off to the screen. 0-2 count all of a sudden. Mackenzie Langan in command for the Chippewas. They've definitely slowed things down after that two-run first inning from the Wolverines. Yeah, those frightful first two innings for the Wolverines offensively. Yeah. Haven't gotten anything going really much since. No nope. 0-2 count. It's going to be swung off and fouled deep into foul territory. Look out, ambulance. Oh. going to hit the kids on the... Bouncy slide. Almost caught a piece of that tan Lincoln Nautilus. The what? The tan Lincoln Nautilus. What is It's a vehicle. You know exactly what car that is this far? My away? mother my mother drives a um a burgundy a one. Okay. 0-2 count here after the Nautilus catches a piece of that foul ball. And this ball will be outside. One two count. I think that bouncy house is in 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 uh what do you call it? In danger in, in in the line of fire tonight. I, yeah, honestly it is. Look out, a lot of kids having fun over there. Yeah, the one times. two. It's gonna be upstairs, it's two two count. You strike me as a bouncy house uh, kid when you were little. Who isn't? Me. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Because I'd be playing baseball or football I'm or still playing sports? No, I mean I like played a lot of sports. Or I'd be getting face painted done I if was I was really like, active. No, I'm saying like at an event. Tutu's going to be swung off and followed. I do all the events. Into the parking lot. No, but I'm saying. Thank God you didn't park back there. <laughs> yeah, right. It's either the face paint. You can do everything. Yeah, you can. But and the did. line for the bouncy castle is always long. Well. And then you got to take off your shoes. And then, you know, it's just a whole messy thing. It's all sweaty in there. Hmm. To each their own. To each their own. Stevenson's going to stay alive after falling off He's three straight. Sounds like a little bit of thunder up yeah. there. <laughs> 2-2 <laughs> two, two count here for Stevenson. Right fielder. Freshman. Or I was getting food, too. That's what I was doing when I was, you know. What do you, oh, at the yeah. event when you were a kid? Yeah, 100%. Or ice cream truck. They got like the a, ice cream. man, yeah. classic. 
Tutu is going to be fouled off once again behind us. Is that the third foul ball in a row? Are you doing the math? I think it's, it's either third. three or four. Three or four. Hopefully it's three. I'd hate to be wrong. The last math class I took was in community college. Stats. Got a C in it. That's fantastic. And uh, never looked back. No more math courses for me. My oceanography class is a math class. 2-2 two, two in the dirt. 3-2. Oceanography is math. Technically. In a way. Technically in a way. There's some math elements. There are some math elements to it. Depth of the ocean. How deep is the ocean? Oh, my God. I know this. Oh, wait for this is... Stevenson skies this ball up on the third base line. Easily handled by Central Michigan third baseman Grace Koenig. One out. Jaden, tell me, how deep is the ocean? The deepest part of the ocean is the Mariana Trench. Mm -hmm. How deep? 10,000. I think it's 10,935 meters deep. Is the that average. a question? Don't ask no, me. No, I think. I'm telling you, I think it's, it's 10,000 something, but I think it's 10,935. Average depth is 3,000 to 4,000 meters. That's a lot of meters. That's a lot of feet. Castales up here for the Wolverines is the Michigan designated player. I bet you no one cares how deep the ocean is. Um, so. I don't personally. Yeah. I'm terrified of the ocean. I'm, I'm more of a lake guy. I'm an ocean girl living by the beach. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Miss California, you are. Pitch two in for ball two. Castalis is out of this count 2 0. I'm really rat rattled by the fact that Alex Miller doesn't think I could hit a softball either. I'm sorry. I, I run wonder my if own Alex team. Miller is still listening. I don't know. I don't think you could hit one either. Castalis <laughs> rips this one up in the right field. This one's got a little bit of carry, but it'll be handled by Central Michigan center fielder. Abby told me. Two up, two down, once again for the Wolverines. Not able to mount a lot of pressure on here after the first two innings. No, definitely not. A couple easy outs there for the chips. You like Rihanna? I do. Yeah. I know about Rihanna. Okay, I knew That's that. That's one that I can say. Sure, I knew that. Ella McVeigh, junior shortstop, walking up to Umbrella. Ella, Ella. Ella, just like her name. A, A, A. Oh, yeah. That's actually... Cute little play on words. That's right. She's going to show bunt, charge up to this one, but take this one for a strike. Opt out to swing at it. Left-handed hitter. Seven RBIs on the year, batting 291. Shows bunt once again. Going to pull back, charge up, and take this pitch up high. A little bit of a slap hitter right here is the lefty in McVeigh. 1-1 one, one count. McVeigh was batting 404 about a week ago over a, their 10 game winning streak. She's been pretty consistent as of recently. She's going to swing and rip this pitch deep in the right field. It's going to be what a grab by Central Michigan right fielder, McKay uh, Valamont. Oh, it was a great grab, wasn't it? That was, that was insane. Over sure the shoulder acrobatic grab. Yeah, that was fantastic way to end the inning there. Take away a hit from McVeigh. Yeah, ripped by McVeigh and a great grab Probably up in the right field. Extra bases there, too. Took that away. Sure. A nice way to end the inning. That's right. We will head to the fifth. Yes, we will. Jaden, would you like to take over my role or no? Should I? It's up to you. <coughs> It's up to you. You're going to have to practice eventually. <laughs> it's up to you. I feel like I should. Oh, my gosh. Lauren Durkowski's coming in. You Michigan's make the call. ace. You make the call. Should I try? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's up to you, man. Oh, boy. Nervous. I am nervous. How many viewers do we have? How many people? Nine. It's nice. So they're all going to hear you contemplating they are. whether to do a play-by-play -play or not. Should I just try? I'll try. Okay, let's do an inning. If you're not comfortable with okay. it, we'll switch on back. But I'm scared. Oh, you've got the capabilities here. Right. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Would you like to switch seats, or are no, you comfortable we're, we're there? Okay, I'm okay, comfortable. Okay, 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 okay. 
Well, we've got a pitching change for Michigan. That's right. Lauren Durkowski coming in, okay. Michigan's ace. She actually pitched yesterday against um, Michigan State. She didn't have the dominant outing that she usually does last night, but nonetheless, Michigan was able to come away with the win. Got first pitch by Drakowski to number 18, Alyssa Holo. In for strike one. Oh, I got that chant. Fire up chips. Okay. That's what that one was. Fire up chips. Drakowski. In for his second pitch. It's gonna be called ball. One one count. To Alyssa Hollow. Holo. Alyssa My Holo. Bad. That's right. You got it. Third pitch at the at bat's gonna be inside for ball two. Two one count. When you get a pretzel, do you like salt on your pretzel or Just not? Just a little. Okay. Not too much. Cheese? So yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Drakowski in for the fourth pitch of the at bat. It's gonna be popped up for an out by first baseman Lily Valamont. Nice, easy play. First out for Lauren Durkowski and the Wolverines. Easy that one is. Pop right up to Valamont. You make that, if you drop that ball, I think yeah, we got an issue. But I think so, too. That's one out here. Durkowski, first pitch. It's number 11, Emma Lotus. It's going to be down the line foul. First strike one. Kowski in for pitch number two to Lotus. Inside for ball one. One one count. Third pitch is fouled behind. Strike number two. I think we're gonna have to start shutting some windows out here. I'm okay. Getting, I'm getting you gotta chilly. close the one behind you. I know. Just get up real quick and do it. We can do it in between innings. That's right. Next pitch to Lotus is up high for ball two. We got a 2-2 two -two count. Even things up. Emma Lotus is going to ground that ball to shortstop Indiana Langford. Totally Valmont for easy out. That's right. Once again. Ball's come to her twice tonight. Yep. She's making it, made it look easy. Good on the defensive end. Two up, two down. Again, for the Chippewas. Yep. Only one hit on the day today. Yeah, Michigan's pitching has been pretty dominant today. Expect nonetheless with Durkowski coming in here, Michigan's ace. I don't know how they throw the ball like that. I, I don't either. It's got to hurt. I guess so. Pitch number one to shortstop Maddie Springer. Inside for a strike one. Pitch number two. Springer's going to line that one on the first base side. Foul. Got an 0-2 count. Gerkowski's making quick work of this inning. Pitching like we know she knows how to, yeah. especially after a little bit of a rocky outing yesterday against the Spartan. She's definitely back in her normal form. Mm -hmm. Next pitch of the at-bat is going to be a little bit outside for ball one. One-two count to Maddie Springer, junior shortstop. That ball's gonna be a little bit up high for ball two. Count evens up at 2-2. Two, two. Are 
this thing and deck the halls? Really? Not quite sure why they'd be singing a Christmas song in the middle of April, but oh. that is going to be an error. It's on the first baseman, Lily Valamont can't quite pick that one up. She fumbles the ball, and Maddie Springer is going to be on base. Yeah, I mean, a little routine chopper, too, Valamont. She yeah. fields it initially, gets a hand on it, fumbles it, and can't quite come away with that one. That's right. It's a base, though, so it's an error. But yeah, Michigan's a word with the error. The chips are not going to get a hit on that one. We've got a pinch hitter coming in for Central Michigan, number th three. What did they say? This is number three. Kira Tolmi. Number three, Kira Tolmi. I think they they're worse than deck the halls too. Really? They got their Go Kiki Go chant coming up. I think it was ba 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 ba. I don't know why though. Freshman pinch hitter is going to foul that first pitch off. Own one count. This is. Um, Abby told me his sister. Yeah. So there you go. Got some more family action. A family affair all around go. here. Five RBIs on the year for the freshman too. That second pitch to Tommy is going to be called ball one, one one count. That ball is going to be a little bit low. Ball two. Two one count, top of the fifth. Two outs. Runner on first. And the pitch from Durkowski is going to be lined into left field and cannot make the play on that one. Ellie Sealer is not able to come away with that one. Yeah, Sealer kind of comes in, charges that one, tries to make a little diving glove save, but not able to corral it, but she stops that ball from getting behind her. Base runners on first and second here. Abby Tolmy coming up to bat. We just had Kira Tolmy, and now See sisters if she can bring are her going, sister home. Yeah, sisters are going back to back, and looks like the Chips are going to put a pinch runner in for number 21, Maddie Springer. Can't quite see you the got number. Got eyes on that number. I believe it's girl. number. It looks like number six. It does look like number six. Yep. Angela Petrovich. Angela Petrovich, sophomore from M Macomb, Michigan. Macomb. Macomb. Sorry, I don't know how to Come pronounce on. the Michigan cities. Come on. Oh no. First pitch to number seven. Abby told me is going to be a wild pitch and number six Angela Petrovich is going to steal third base on that. Yeah, both runners are going to advance for the chips there. I didn't see the advance the second but there we go both runners advance got runners on second and third with two outs 1-0 count to Abby Tolmy. looks like Michigan is going to have a circle visit chat with Lauren Drakowski it was looking like a clean inning and then yeah an error, error kind of sparked yeah. the, uh, the charge for the chips yeah. here. And they're still alive. Two outs here, they sure. Are. but It's only a two-run game here in yeah. the top of the fifth, so definitely looking to make some moves and tie this game up. We got a 1-0 count to number seven, Abby Tolmy. Gierkowski with the second pitch of the at-bat. It's going to be called strike one. 1-1 one, one count to the freshman, Tommy. Playing with your sister must be fun. Do you think they're twins, both freshmen? I don't know. They look alike. Maybe got some twins. That's a good question. Third pitch. It's going to be a little bit high for ball two, 2-1 two, count. Still got runners on second and third. Two outs, though. And that pitch from Durkowski looks to be a little bit up high. 
3-1 count. One more ball on the bases are loaded in this top of the fifth. And the pitch from Durkowski is going to be lined to second baseman, Indiana Langford. Easy throw to first base, Lily Valamont for the third out of the inning. Michigan comes away unscathed. Yeah, kind of a, a little chopper to Langford, who's been terrific at second base thus far. Central threatens the score, ultimately, ultimately amounts to nothing. And Wolverines, five inning scoreless thus yeah. far, and they get the bats up here again. And yeah. Michigan's pitching has been very consistent today. They've done a great job only allowing two hits. Um, is there a glitch on the scoreboard? We've got an X in the bottom That's of the fifth. What are, you look, what are you talking about? That's Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. That? What? What are you looking at? Do you see the scoreboard? Oh, I do see that. Oh, oh okay. it's gone. Looks like a mistake. <laughs> It's gone, I was kind of confused. I was like, no way you're ending this game, but. All kids we're sixth back. grade and under are invited to run the bases following the conclusion of this game. Are you in sixth grade? Uh, once upon a time. Once upon a time. I feel so old now. Yeah. I think we have another pitching change for yes, Central we Michigan do. here. Number one for the chips. Brooklyn Compo is coming in. What number would you wear if you played softball or any type of sport like this? Well, uh, my number that I ended my soccer career with was 11. So okay, I like that number. It's a nice number. I'd probably go with 11. I was 18 for a long time, and then I switched teams, and that number was no longer available. Oh, so 11 became the worst my feeling number. right there. I'll I know, tell you that. Right? I had 18 my entire club soccer journey until then. Okay, try to pronounce this Michigan okay, name right here. Okay, so we have Brooklyn Compo. Where, what city is she from? Frankenmuth, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, Frankenmuth, yeah. Frankenmuth. It's a little my Bavarian bad. German town up in the Thumbo, Michigan. Okay. To, and they have the largest Christmas store in the world really? there. Really? Have yes. you been? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you should go. Okay. Look it up when you get a chance, okay. too. Maybe after the game. Yeah. Bronner's Christmas Land. Okay. We've got Ellie Sealer at the plate to lead off this bottom of the fifth for the Wolverines. And she is going to take a first pitch strike for an 0-1 count. Second pitch to Ellie oh. Sealer is going to slide in through the center field. Looks like. Yeah, she just snuck that little yeah. chopper right through. Looks the like second base shortstop gap and yeah shortstop Emma or Maddie Springer my bad tried to make the dive there but she was unable to come away with that one and Ellie Sealer's got a single that's right Michigan's fifth hit of the game We've got number 44 Indiana Langford at bat first pitch to Langford's gonna be up high for ball one 1-0 one -oh count to the slap hitter, Langford. Langford's been fantastic on defense today at second. That she has. All of Michigan's defense really has been doing a good job besides that one error we saw. And that second pitch to Langford is gonna be in for strike one, one, one count. And this pitch to Langford. It's gonna be a little bit outside for ball two. Two one count. To the sophomore second baseman. And she's gonna get a touch on that ball. Fouled behind her for strike two. Count evens up two two. Not a lot of chance coming out of this Michigan dugout. I'm kind of disappointed. No. Central Michigan's definitely beating them in the chant department. <laughs> and that pitch is called ball three. Full count to Indiana Langford. She's got a lot of hair, too. Look at this picture. 
she does. She looks like she's got her little bow in too. And that pitch to Langford is going to be grounded to Grace Koenig, third baseman, for an easy throw to first base, the first out of the inning. Yeah, kind of a little slap hit right there. It's going to advance the runner up to second, cost the Wolverines an out, but base runner in scoring position here for the Wolverines, only one out, Maddie Erickson up the bat. Great situation advancing the runner for Maddie Erickson, one of Michigan's most consistent batters, like we've been talking about all game. And that first pitch to Erickson is going to be a little bit up high for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count, one out, bottom of the fifth. Wolverines up 2-0. -oh. Ellie Sealer on second base. And that is going to be called strike one. 1-1 one -one count to Erickson. She's one for two today. The 362 average and eight home runs. Three of those home runs did come yesterday. So she's been on a roll lately. Got a young lady taking some photos in front I of us. I guess so. I don't know if she's <laughs> not she's a friend, but maybe. Paparazzi looking the other way. <laughs> Heads up. And that third pitch to Erickson is going to be up high for ball two. Two one count. Pitch to Erickson is going to be chopped up to number four, Skylar Coberly, second baseman, for another routine throw to first base. And All right, well, yeah, close play at first. Yeah. Going to advance the runner up to third now. Not really how you drew this one up, but yeah. Kiki Thole up to bat here for the Wolverines, runner on third. Two outs here. Chance to capitalize. Two outs. Not ideal with a runner on third, but no. nonetheless, it's an opportunity. And the first yeah, you can pitch work with to it. Kiki Thole is called strike one, a one count, two outs. Bottom of the fifth for the Wolverines. Yeah, you can work with anything, you know? Sure. Can't complain. That second Heads pitch. Up. Two Kiki's going to be over the net into the stands for a foul ball. Apparently someone made a nice grab. I Got guess a round of applause so. out here. O2. Count to Kiki Thole. Having a chat with her aunt Bonnie Thole, head coach. It must be a weird dynamic, right? I, I wonder how I wonder how that would be. Would you like having a family member as your coach? No, absolutely not. Okay. I feel like if I was on the if I was chatting with my uncle right now, it's I feel yeah. like that's not a good dynamic. I wonder how they went about that. I wonder if she's always wanted to play for her aunt or how yeah. that was. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I just wouldn't want to listen to one of my family members yeah, more than like honestly, a uh, be like shut up. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that, but you know, I'll listen to a coach more. Seems like is she's that wrong? I don't know. I mean, oh, that ball to Kiki Full is going to be a wild pitch, and Ellie Sealer comes running home from third, and she is safe. The Wolverines add another run to the board. First run since the first inning. Yeah. And it is 3-0. Yeah, interesting little wild pitch there. Gets yeah. behind Central Michigan's catcher. And it was a close play at the play, but, I mean. Not going to be reviewed. So, no. looks like it was Beat a it out. clean slide into home plate. And the pitch to Kiki Thole. It's flied up to short left field. Easy play for number 21, Maddie Springer. There you go. To end the inning but not before the Wolverines got to put another run up on the board. That's right. That was a nice heads up play by Ellie Sealer to come home on that. Yeah, really turn on the Jets as, he, as, yeah. soon as, she see, uh, as soon as she saw that ball get past, past the catcher and just really be, okay, here we go. All right, okay, we've got okay. the game on. I don't even know where it is. Okay, it's in the left one right now, now middle. I've lost it. Okay, look out. I always win these at Dodger Stadium, but. Yeah, rotating M's on the big screen right now. Let's see if uh, these eyes can really pay me off. I got 2020, Jaden. So, so do I. Do you? Yep. 2015, actually. A little bit better. I, okay. It's in two. Absolutely no idea. It's two. Okay, I'm going to go with two. And I was right. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Wow, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Lauren Durkowski coming back in the circle for the Wolverines to start off this top of the sixth. Only got two more innings left. Play by play is not so bad, is it? Not so bad. See? Easier than I thought. 
feel like I know that guy in the turf crew Who? right there. I don't know. I feel like I know him. He looks familiar. Which one? The guy in the light blue shirt. Huh. Maybe you've ran into him a time or two. Thinking what? I don't know. I just see a lot of middle-aged men that look like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know you're a weekend fan, too. I know it. I, d I am. I, I am. Know it. Yeah, I know. My friends from home turned me into a weekend fan, yep. actually. Yeah, I know it. Okay. We've got number 41, McKaylee Valamont, coming up to lead off the top of the six for the chips. Chips? What's your favorite chip? Hmm. That's a really good question. I don't even know. Think about it and get back to me. Valamont is going to swing and miss. Four strike number one from Durkowski. It was a hefty swing in there and not able to come away with anything. Yeah. Second pitch is going to be in for strike two. Way to start off this at bat for Durkowski. 0-2 oh count to Valamont. That ball is going to be low for ball one. 1-2 one count. What's your favorite chip? I got a long answer. We'll chat after this. Okay. That pitch is not called a strike. I guess it's going to be a little bit inside for ball two. Count evens up at 2-2. Two, two. Drakowski to Valamont. That pitch is going to be laced down the third base line, but it is foul. Count stays at 2-2. Two and two. And a swing and a miss from Valamont to get the strikeout. First out of the inning for Drakowski. Yeah, a little high heater right there. Got Valamont chasing. Michigan strikeout. All these little kids are up on their feet again as these foam softballs come out. Need to get active. It's your turn to stand up and start cheering. Right, because you did in the first place. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. We've got number 23, Carly Sleeman, up to bat for the chips. And the first pitch is fouled behind her for strike one. 0-1 oh count, one out, top of the sixth. Lauren Durkowski ready for the second pitch of the at-bat. And that ball is going to be a little bit inside for ball one. 1-1 one, one count to Sleeman. The freshman catcher. 0 for 2 today. Mm. And that ball is going to be inside for a strike. Fantastic pitch from Durkowski. A little crafty off speed. Yeah. 1 2 count to Sleeman. Another pitch there looked pretty similar to the last pitch she just threw, but that one's going to be in for a ball. Count evens up at two. And that ball is going to be driven into center field. Freshman Ella McVeigh makes that, but she is unable to get it before it bounces down. And Carly Sleeman is on base with a single. Yeah, it was a good rip. Right between the first baseman and the right fielder. Good piece of hitting. Chippewa's got one on base with only one out in this top of the sixth here. Going to get something Gotta going. Start a little here. rally going. Yeah. That's right. We'll see. Number four, senior second baseman, Skyler Coberly. At bat is going to take first pitch strike from Durkowski. 0 oh, 1 count. One out. One on first. Top of the six. This game's been going by pretty fast. Lightning speed. We're only an hour and a half in. Yeah. Almost done. Ooh. And that is a swing and a miss from Coberly. Yeah. Great off speed was, pitch. Yeah, that ball was pretty low, and she's not able to come away with anything. 
02 count. And that ball is going to go down the first baseline foul. Count stays at 0 and 2. Oh, heads up. Pitch from Durkowski is. <laughs> That was an interesting one. Balled it off and hit it back I, into yeah, her face. Yeah, hit it on herself. <laughs> Count stays at 0-2. Got to feel good right there. Yeah, awful. <laughs> and the pitch from Durkowski is swung on and missed by Coberly for yet another strikeout. Yeah, what do you know? She's got a couple of them down swinging and missing here. I think we're running out of foam balls in the right. bleacher section. They're just chucking them out here tonight. Yeah, Michigan's pitching has gotten going with the strikeouts. And we've got number 24, Grace Koenig, up to bat for the chips. Two outs, and she's going to hit that Yay. one, and they're going to wait for it to go foul, and it does not go foul. So... All the runners are going to be safe. Grace Koenig on base. Got runners on first and second. Michigan got unlucky on that one. I think they were waiting for that ball to roll out foul and stopped right before the line. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Just a side note here, that last strikeout was the eighth Michigan wow. strikeout Fantastic. through six innings so far, or six and two-thirds inning, that is. Pitching has been great for the Wolverines today. That's right. Can't ask for much more. That's no right. runs. And we have the first pitch to Alyssa Holo. It's going to be outside for ball one, 1-0 one -oh count, two outs. Runners on first and second. Got their chance going again. Yeah, threatening the score here. Runners on first and second. See if they can mount a little something here. That pitch from Durkowski's up high for ball two. Looks like they're going to come out and have a chat in the circle. Yeah. Got to lock things down right now with two outs. Come away with a clean inning. A little brief conversation. Yep. Dinner talk, what do you What do you think? What's your favorite food down here Ugh, in Ann Arbor? I don't know. I'm so indecisive, I can't pick anything. Ugh. What's your favorite? Uh, if, we're, if we're talking value, it's going to be noodles and co. Okay. Strictly value-based. I think I've had that once. Great budget food. Yeah. College kids, you know. And the pitch from Durkowski is going to be called strike one. Two one count to Alyssa Holo. Two one, two outs, two runners on. Durkowski looking to put this inning away. And that is going to be called strike two. Uh oh, two two. Two two count. There it is. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Lots of twos. Two, two, two. Oh, there you go. It's Another angel, angel number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. That was a close one. Close one. But that is going to be called a ball. Full count for Hollow. Full count, two outs, two on. Down three. Perfect situation, and she swings and misses for Michigan's ninth strikeout of the game to end the inning. Get out of that little oh. jam there. What's going Fans on? Fans kind of upset at the at the man in manning the bleachers over there. He's out of foam balls. That's nine strikeouts for the Wolverine pitchers the, here. I don't think the workers were prepared for nine strikeouts. I don't think so either, but. They're giving him the business, and he's just putting his hands up like, hey, this is all I got for you. Nine Ks on the day for the Wolverines so far. It's fantastic pitching from the Wolverines. Yeah, through six innings, Wolverines bats gets another chance right now. We're only an hour 40 in the play. Yeah. This might be the quickest game in softball it's, history. Yeah, it's really quick. We're heading into the bottom of the sixth. Mr. Brightside. Classic Michigan song. Classic Michigan tune. Did you like it before you came to Michigan? 
I liked it, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. Uh, only Taylor Swift and Beyonce are like. Taylor Swift for life. And then uh, Rihanna, maybe. Maybe a little bit. So who is it? Oh, here we go. Back to chips, right? Favorite chip. Like if you go to the gas station, you got to get <laughs> like a chip. Like hot chips. Okay, you got to like get a chip, a drink, and chips. a candy. Diet Coke and like some Sour Patch. Which ones though? The strawberries, the sour mixed patch, bag. Watermelon. <sighs> okay, so some hot what though? Like, I don't know, anything. Hot Cheetos? Sure, that works. Hot. Anything. Uh, hot. Hot fries. No, maybe not those, but anything uh, else. Okay. I want to hear your gas station order. Oh. Let me get $60 regular on pump oh, four. Okay. Um, we didn't ask for the gas order, the snack order. But if I'm going inside, I'm ordering gas, too. Okay. And then I'll get, like, a nerd gummy cluster. That's really good. Cheddar sour cream, Solid ruffles. Choice. And then um, to drink. If I'm feeling bougie, I'll get like a naked smoothie. If not, oh. it'll just be like a brisk lemonade, like okay. 99 cents. Okay. Yeah. We've got Brooklyn Compo back in the circle for the chips. First pitch to Lily Valamont is fouled into the stands. Oh, heads up. For strike one. And second pitch is fouled into the stands the other way down the first base line. Or maybe that didn't make it to the stands. Oh, we got netting in front of us. Yeah. Nonetheless. I know you weren't ready for that if, it, if there was no netting either. Uh, so. No. But two pitches, two foul balls for Lily Valamont. And we got an 0-2 count. Bottom of the sixth for the Wolverines. Oh, a little, little field timeout. Oh, got to tie them kicks shoes up. Are untied. I'm kind of disappointed that our logo in center field is not maze. It's a missed opportunity. The ones on, the, so? on the base sides are. Mm -hmm. and then just I guess maybe it would be a little bit distracting, thing. you think, in the middle of the game. I don't know. And that pitch to Lily Valmon is hit right into that M that oh. we were just <laughs> talking about for a single. I don't think it's any distracting, though. I mean, that's a good rip by Valamon, but it hits the block end straight in center, center yeah. field for a single. But I don't know. I think we got to get a little bit more creative. I think maybe if it was bright. I don't know. But who's looking at it from the ground level like that? Well, but if, if the center fielder is trying to come in for a ball and the ground's really bright. But she's looking up at the I ball. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Like I'm not doing maintenance or grounds crew either. here. Got freshman Janisa Conway at bat first pitch. It's going to be up high for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count. No outs. Runner on first for Conway. And that pitch is going to be fouled behind her off the netting for strike one. Got some fun songs playing here. Clap your hands. <laughs> Clap, clap, clap. Some singing. What is this? The uh, <laughs> something shuffle? What do you call us? This is definitely not the Cupid shuffle, <laughs> if that's what you were going to say. <laughs> that's 100% what I was yeah, going to say. Yeah, so too. no. <laughs> Janisa Conway lays down a bun, and oh. she is safe. That ball is going to be thrown over the head of first baseman <laughs> Skylar Coberly. And the Wolverines now have runners on second and third. Yeah. No outs. No outs. You would think that would be a routine throw to first base. Like I said, you know what they say about making assumptions, right? I, you're 100% right. Costly error for the chips. Could have been right there. Base runners on second and third. Zero outs for the Wolverine offense here. I said first baseman, Skylar Coberly, but she's actually the second baseman. It looks like she slid over to first base on that play. Covered to first. Try to make the out, but was not able to. We've got number 25, Ella Stevenson at bat for the Wolverines. She is going to take strike one. This is a big moment for the Big Ten Freshman of the Week with two on, no outs. And that one's gonna be up high for ball one. A chance to really almost drive this nail into the coffin yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. Late in this game for Stevenson. If you can score one or even two here. Yeah. Definitely going to try to put the game away. And that ball is going to be lined to first base, and they're going to go with the easy out. Runners aren't going to even try to move. Yeah, great play by Holo at first. At first base there. 
uh, kind of keeping both second and third runners in check and tagging Stevenson up on first. Great heads up play and keeps all base Definitely. runners put here. One out. Best case scenario for the chips to get that out and not get any runners home. We've got Ava Costales at bat for the Wolverines. She's going to foul that first pitch behind her. It's going to be 0 and 1. Ava's 0 for 2 today, but she's got a 308 average on the season. These freshmen have really been putting in the work for the Wolverines. Got some pretty good averages, some pretty good stats to show for it. Yeah. We have had three back to back freshmen batting. Make that four freshmen batting, actually. Lily Balamont, Balamont is also a freshman. Yeah, it's a, it's a heavy freshman uh, set to the lineup here. Definitely. And they've been good, though. And that pitch to Ava Costales is going to be called strike two, 0 2 count. But yeah, you're right. The freshmen definitely have been great for the Wolverines. Such a young lineup, but it's great to see them all being so successful early in their college softball careers. And that third pitch to Ava Costales is going to be fouled off, and the count's going to stay at 0-2. And that pitch from Ava Costales is going to be fouled off again. The count is going to remain 0-2. Looking to break this game open. The designated player for Michigan is going to watch that wild pitch as Lily Valamont comes running home. The ball almost hit her in the head, but <laughs> Nonetheless, the Wolverines. Yeah, it's more heads-up base running by the Wolverines and Valamont in this case. For the wild pitch, and Valamont takes advantage and yeah, dashes home for another Wolverine run. It's a great play by Valamont to take advantage. Wolverines have gotten two runs now off of wild pitches. Yeah. Definitely some mistakes that could have been avoidable, not even coming from hits. And that pitch to Ava Costales is going to be oh. lightly hit. And that play to first base, number 18, Alyssa Holo, is going to do the splits. Oh. I've had a lot of groin damage in my, my yeah, history, that, and that just that did not look. like it hurt, and she's unable to. She didn't even get the favorable the call with the all right there either. Looks like. Janisa Conway came home on that <laughs> play, too. So the Wolverines are going to add a run, and Ava Costales is going to be safe. I can't imagine that must hurt. <laughs> Got to be flexible, I guess. <laughs> she sat on him for a second, too. I just, you know. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. I, I can't even imagine. Uh, oh. Anyways, the Wolverines are up 5-0 now. Just like we said, kind of breaking this game open in the yeah. bottom of the sixth. Not much time left for the chips. They're only going to have the top of the seventh to try to get something going. And there's still only one out for the Wolverines in this inning as Ella McVeigh comes up to bat. I got a feeling. We've got a. Not sure what's uh, going on. Umpire's having a. Some type of challenge going on challenge. at home. Yeah. I'm not quite I was sure. kind of distracted by the splits that Alyssa Holo did at first base that I kind of missed the play at home plate. So it looks like Central Michigan is going to challenge the previous play. It's yeah. now under review. I'm not sure if they're challenging the out at first, I would think. Because uh, I guess the runner is going to be safe regardless since they didn't sure. try to throw home. Right. So no, you'd think. I guess they're going to see if she was off the bag or not, but she yeah, looked on to me, yeah. honestly. I, yeah, I honestly thought that was going to be called an out, so I was kind of surprised when Costales was called safe. But Go the, blue. Yeah, go blue. The Michigan players have started to chant with the crowd. 
go blue here. All about some fan engagement out here. Yeah, I love it. Michigan's getting hopping on the chant bandwagon. Well, nonetheless, it looks like Ava Costales, if she's safe, is going to be switched out for a pinch runner. Yeah. Number 17, Lexi De La Monica, is going to come in for her, I guess, if she's safe. Looking agile out there like yeah. a cat. Getting ready to go. Hopping up and down, doing a little bit of dance. She's ready to run. Yeah. I'm getting pretty cold now. Oh, see? Yeah. And the headache, too? Yeah, it's not great. Ugh. 58 degrees in Ann Arbor right now. Too cold for you or what? Well, it would be perfect with a jacket. but <sighs> What's the cutoff for you? Like, what's your favorite weather? I can't really complain because it's been freezing and raining <laughs> recently, and I've hated every second of it. So I'm going to take what I can get and say that this 58 degrees is great. Call on the field stands. No. Oh, did the he call not? call on the field has changed after change, further change review. Change stands. Phonetically sounds the same either way. So Ava Costales is going to be out at first base. So that acrobatic first yeah, base play. Yeah, the splits paid yeah. off. Got the, that's the second out of the inning for the chips. It's an RBI ground, ground yeah, off, though. You'll honestly, still take it's that. Not, yeah, not a bad play at all. Still gets the Wolverines the run, which is ultimately more important. So nice heads up play to come home on that. Now we've got Ella McVeigh at bat again with Ella, Ella, Ella by Ella, Rihanna. Ella, Ella, Ella. Brooklyn Compo, Compo in this circle still for the chips. Ella McVeigh is going to show bunt and put that away. And wow, it's a <laughs> fast hit ball to the chips dugout. But the girls dodging eat. for shelter over there. Yeah, I would be too. Yeah, no, same. I think it's coming in hot. Yeah, that was a. Fast hit, but that is going to be strike one on McVeigh. Under my umbrella. McVeigh's going to show bunt again, it looks like, but doesn't last long as that ball's up high. Four ball one, one one count, one out. 5 0 game. Wolverines ahead in the bottom of the sixth. Looks like we might only be getting one more half inning in this game after the end of this. You hope so, right? You hope. Can never be too sure. That's right. And that ball is going to be up high. Four ball two to McVeigh. Two one count. Breaking news. Bouncy Castle taken down. Oh my gosh. You see it? I can't believe it. Oh. I didn't even notice. The little girls from the South Line <laughs> softball team are over there still playing in the grass, though. Absolute mojo killer. <laughs> that ball is going to be in the dirt. Four ball three. Three one count to McVeigh. Is there only one out in this inning? Was I No, mistaken? there's one out. Yeah. I thought there was two. My bad. I thought there was also. I. But the board says one. Yeah, so the board says one. The someone's not doing off. their job. And that ball's going to be up high to McVeigh. Yeah, is it not too up? And it's a walk. I check the stats. Yep, there so we go. Yeah. They're yeah, fixed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, someone's not doing their job. Yeah. We are. We were right. So there are two outs in this inning. Ella McVeigh is going to get the walk, and she's going to be on first base as Ellie Sealer comes to bat for the Wolverines. Ellie Sealer's two for two today. Yeah, I mean, she's got a couple walks in there. 377 on the year, four Insane homers, 14 RBIs. Average. That's good. Insane. Ellie Sealer's been fantastic today, along with basically the entire Michigan team. Yeah. This has been a great outing for them. And that first pitch to Sealer is going to be called strike one. Oh, one count to Sealer. Two outs, runner on first. Bottom of the sixth. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a <laughs> interesting pitch. It's gonna <laughs> bounce in the dirt for ball one, and then looks like Carly Sleeman couldn't quite catch it, but Ella McVeigh is gonna stay on first, not even gonna try to steal a no. base there. Third pitch. Two Ellie Sealer is going to be really up high. Four ball two. Two one count to Sealer.
That pitch is even more up high, and Ella McVeigh is going to try to steal, and she is safe into second. Yeah, great jump off of her. A lot of speed on that first base, second base path, and picks up a nice stolen bag. Runner in scoring position with two outs here. Another great heads up play by the Wolverines to take advantage of that really up high pitch. And Ella McVeigh is going to be at the plate with a 3 1 count. Now, runner in scoring position. Still with two outs in this inning, though. And she's going to take ball four. Runners on first and second for the slap hitter, Indiana Langford. Yeah. Still two outs, though, but something the Wolverines can really drive home if they manage to score one or two here. But we'll open up the circle visit for the Chips. Going to try to calm things down here with yeah. Brooklyn Compo. Under pressure, you know this song? This is like a perfect song for this situation. Jay, She's so under pressure you know in the circle, you know? Yeah, you've been struggling all day in the Sorry. music department, but a little bit of David Bowie and who sings, who's the other role? Who sings it? Don't ask questions <laughs> like that. It's going to embarrass me. Do you know who David Bowie is? I've heard the name. <laughs> okay, Freddie Mercury, do you know who that is? I've heard the name. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's... I'm not too cultured. Right, Freddie, Freddie Mercury, you know, do you know what band he was in? Um. So I'm about to walk out, man. Brooklyn Compo. <laughs> Karina. I, I knew that. I think I, I knew that. Oh. No, I knew that. I, I gotta saw, go, dude. Wait, there was a movie about. <laughs> yeah, I Bohemian saw Rhapsody. Oh, yes, yes, I saw that. I saw that. And you're like, who's this guy? Oh, wait, I saw that movie though. <laughs> Don't. I saw that movie with my mom. Yeah, it was a two-hour-long <laughs> movie, and you're like, who's listening? this main character? Saw that movie. Who is this guy? <laughs> man. All right, Brooklyn Compo in the oh, circle, and up. that ball is gonna be way high. It's going to hit off the backboard, and both runners are going to advance. Runners at third and second and third for the Wolverines and Indiana Langford. Still getting still a little bit of rocky pitching. Jayden, I'm really disappointed so I'm in really you. Sorry. I'm just, I'm, <sighs> I'm really, really sorry. I don't know. It's just uh, infuriating. I'm sorry. But here we go. I think we'll have a pitching change for the Chippewas. You are exactly right. <laughs> And it looks like we've got a fan club for her right under our window. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is about. They, they love, love Grace. Her. <laughs> they love Grace. So <laughs> I guess Grace is coming to pitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we might need to turn on these. Number 33. Oh. Yeah, I mean, got a fan club right in front yeah, of us. Yeah, we <laughs> do. Got a fan club <laughs> right in front of us. Jaden, I'm really going to. I'm really sorry. <sighs> I did not. It actually makes me mad. How do you not know? I don't know. What music did you grow up on? Taylor Swift. Grew up on? Taylor Swift. Since, oh, what, four? Taylor Swift literally released her al first album in, like, 2006, so yes. Your mom played that stuff for you? I played it for myself. So what'd your mom play? I don't know. Or your dad? My mom listened to, like, U2 and, like, Coldplay. Yeah, she's cultured. Yeah, she is. Anyways, What'd your dad listen to? I don't know. Jaden. I mean. Oh, Give me a headache, man. Well, we've got number 33, Grace Lato, senior pitcher. Yeah, if you didn't, if you couldn't already Rapids. tell. I have no idea where that is, Okay, honestly. well, it's in Michigan, so. Let me look it up. Okay. Rapids, Michigan. I mean, it's just broadcasters from Michigan as well. Okay, it's like west-ish Michigan. Okay. All right, cool. I hope you guys Mary are enjoying Lansing. your geography lesson. Yeah. Oh, Survivor starts in three minutes. You ever heard of that band? Hey. What band? Survivor. <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking about the show. I mean, it's just absurd at this point, isn't it? Like, you're really stressing me out. I don't know Survivor. I don't know I'm Freddie sorry. Mercury. I don't know David Bowie. I'm really sorry. Anyways... Indiana Langford is going to foul that pitch off. It's going to be a strike one. One, one count, two outs. Did she, did this pitcher come in in the middle of the at-bat? Yeah. They're allowed to do that? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. As long as you face a certain amount of batters. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah, well, in this case, I'm going to teach you a little bit about music. So I've learned about music, I've learned about pitching changes, I've learned about Michigan geography, <laughs> so it's going great. That's right. 
That pitch to Indiana Langford is going to be up high for ball two, two one count to the sophomore second baseman. Two outs, runners on second and third. That pitch. Is there an owl in this broadcast booth? Do you hear that? An owl? Yeah, you hear that? What? Okay, apparently there's an owl in here. <laughs> it's a 3-1 count to Langford. Okay. And that's up high for ball four. Bases are loaded Load em up. for the Wolverines. Load them up. It's like we got Matty Erickson coming to bat. I think it's just who you want at the bat here, right? I would agree. Matty Erickson, 359 average, one for three today. Eight home runs, 28 RBIs on this season. Fantastic season for Maddie. She's been nothing but consistent for the Wolverines like we've talked about all day. And that's going to be up high for ball one to Erickson. Two outs, though. See what she can do in this situation. And that ball is going to just be a grounder to the second baseman, Skylar Coberly. And that's going to be an easy play to first base. Alyssa Holo going to get the out there. And that's the end of the inning for the Wolverines. But they were able to, able to come away with two runs in that one. So yeah, I mean, you're not going to get greedy out here. We'll no. take two, up five nothing with one inning or one, one frame yeah, for one. Central to mount some sort yep. of rally here. They've only gotten four hits on the day, Central yeah. Michigan does. and it's Really a credit to Michigan's pitching yeah, thus far, fantastic too. fantastic pitching. Um, Wolverines have also had some nice heads-up play on offense, being able to come away with some of those runs off wild pitches to really get some run support for their pitchers here. So that's been great to see. But it's been a really nice, complete game for the Wolverines all around. Have been doing really well today. So yeah. I'm going to look to close this one out with Lauren Durkowski back in the circle for the top of the seventh. Hopefully make it a flawless day on the yeah. defensive side for the Wolverines other than one error and obviously four hits, but for the most part it's been great. Yeah, exactly. It's been great. Can't ask for much more. No runs, so it's been great for the Wolverines. Ozzy Osbourne, you ever heard that name? Please, just crazy train he's playing right now. Okay. Your okay. mom's culture would happen. I don't know. Do you just not like? I don't know. Turn on Taylor Swift. It's got number eleven Emma Lotus at bat for the. Is Chiefs. that what it was? I guess. You're uh, in the car with her all the time. I don't remember what she played. Turn on Paper Rings. Or Paper Rings whatever. wasn't released at that time. Okay, turn on uh, Teardrops on my guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of. I don't want to hear this, you two, or... I listened to whatever my mom played, whatever was on the radio. Yeah, but you don't know it. I'm sorry. Really first me. pitch to Emma the Lotus. One we were yeah, I know. Sorry, <laughs> I was going to say, the first so. pitch to Emma Lotus was a ball. Yeah, yeah. Second pitch, strike, 1-1 one, one count. And that pitch to... Oh. Emma Lotus is going to be, that was a close play. By number 14 for the Wolverines, Janelle Ilaqua. Looks like they've gotten, switched some things up. Yeah. A little bit off target the first. Yeah, but so we've got, is that Janelle Ilaqua coming in for Indiana Langford, it looks like, at second base. Yeah, get some extra reps in. Yeah. Why not? Doesn't hurt on defense. Nonetheless, they got the out at first base. And I've got Maddie Springer up to bat. Lauren Durkowski with a first pitch strike. A one count, one out <coughs> to the junior shortstop, Maddie Springer. Two outs away from finishing this game up for the Wolverines. And oh, that ball is going to drop in. Janelli Lacqua and Ella Stevenson collide, and it's going to be a triple for Maddie Springer. Yeah, heads up. That's a little collision between 
Yeah. Second baseman and right fielder for, or center fielder? In? Yeah, center fielder and second baseman. Not quite sure who collided there, but. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened, but they end up on top of each other. Ella waves away the trainer, so it looks like she's going to be okay. Yeah, it's a little, little bloop shot yeah. to right field, gets down. Two colliding Michigan defensive players ends up in the triple. Yeah. One out. I mean, that's exactly what the chips needed. Start off this inning. Someone's got to close that window. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Well, we're almost done. Uh. First pitch in two. Number three, Sierra Tolmy, is a strike. A one count to the freshman. Okay. And Drakowski's going to get that strike. 0-2 oh, to two Tomey. One out. Runner on third. Top of the seventh. Top of the seventh. Let's close it out, ladies. Absolutely. Oh. Pitch from Drakowski, and it is swung on and missed by Tomey for, I think, is that Michigan's 10th strikeout of the game? That's 10. That guy's got no more foam balls. He's no more. Double-digit strikeouts for the Wolverines. Pitching has been amazing today. Two outs. Chips down to their last out of the game. With a runner on third still. Right. Hoping to get something going here, but not much left. Oh. And she is going to be hit by the pitch. Sprinting on down to first base. Those feel good, don't they? Yeah, I guess so. Abby told me. Really ate that one right there. Yeah. Well, Chips have got runners on the corners with two outs. And McKaylee Valamont is at bat. Her sister is waiting at first base for her. There you go. And the first pitch to Valamont is fouled back. Another one maybe headed towards the parking lot. And it's 0-1, count two outs. Runners on first and third for the chips. Yeah, we might have had to walk a little bit further today, but I think it was great high IQ parking. Yep, car's not getting great hit. Great awareness so out here. Yeah. If I walk to a back to a busted windshield, I'm <laughs> losing my mind. And that pitch is going to be low to Valamont. 1-1 one, one count. Drakowski looking to have a clean inning here and close this game out. Chips looking to do the opposite. And she swings and misses for strike two. Chips are down to their last strike. Wolverines close to winning this game here. 5-0. Can never be too sure though. Mm -hmm. We've learned that today. That's right. And the pitch from Durkowski is going to be outside for ball two. Two, two count, two out, two runners on. The angel numbers are back. Here we go again with this man. Let's make some noise on the big screen. Down to their last out. Durkowski looking to put this game away. And that ball's low. Full count for McKaylee Valamont. I could use a dodge a dog with a win here. <laughs> That would be nice. Oh, that sounds like thunder. Yeah, it does. Fans are getting loud. A full count, two outs, two runners on. 5-0 game in the top of the seventh. And that ball is fouled behind her. Count's going to stay full. Staying alive. Yeah. You ever heard that song, Bee Gees? I have heard that, long, that <laughs> song. Sorry, can't speak anymore. Keep yourself alive, queen. Jaden, I'm telling you, man. You got to do some homework. OK, next time we talk, talk I'll Talk to your parents. Okay. And the pitch from Durkowski is up the third baseline, routine out for the Wolverines. That'll do it. That's the game. So 10 strikeouts for the Wolverines in a 5-0 victory. Couldn't ask for much more, honestly. Everything was great besides that one inning had an error that Allowed some runners for the chips, but they weren't able to get anything across, and Michigan has a shutout today. So yeah. 
fantastic game. No, it's a great defensive effort by the Wolverines today. Absolutely. Great uh, pitching from the ladies and Michigan offense buzzing as usual, looking great today. That'll be another win tallied onto the season, looking to yeah. carry it into the weekend series against Iowa this weekend. And Michigan softball looked terrific today. And yeah. Central Michigan with probably an hour and a half drive home. Not, Not so happy on the nope. other side, but it's a 5-0 win from Michigan. Yeah, Michigan now has back-to-back -back wins after playing two games in just as many days. and Hopefully get a little bit of rest between now and Friday. Yep. And they're back on the field to face the Hawkeyes this weekend. Three-game series coming up. WCBN will be on that call I'm as sure well. They will. I'm not sure who's calling it, but. I'm not sure either, but. Be sure from you and I, tuned. from Luke Beely and Jaden Fode, we appreciate you Absolutely. sticking with us this Wednesday evening. Yeah, it was a super quick game today. Into Wednesday night, yeah, it was a two-hour game. Got in, got out, needed to do what she got to yeah. do, and Michigan picking up the 5-0 win. But from all of us at WCBN, we appreciate you for tuning in. Absolutely. As the ladies bring us in with Hail to the Victors. Hail to the Victors. Do you like our theme song, by the way? I think it's I think it's fun. Do okay. you like it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, okay. tradition. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. No complaints. But either way, that's a Michigan win, five nothing. That is. And from all of us, thank you for tuning in with us thank on this you. Wednesday night. And go blue. Go blue.